Hello everyone, welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we are going to discuss about the MG4 in Angular 15. In the previous video, where we have discussed about the MG switch and MG8. So, the next is the MG4. So, this MG4 again is the same uh, like we used to have the for loop in the other programming language. In the sense, like for loop is basically a loop until like execute couple of the code. Uh, until the loop condition is not satisfied. If we talk about the for loop or the ng4 in the angular, then it is a structural directive. And if we want to use the for loop or and the ng4 in the angular, then this is the syntax. We have to use the star ng4 equal to then in the double quotes we have to give the left item of collection. So this collection we have to define in the component side or the TS file. Item is the variable name and the collection is the property of component of the collection of the data. So as I told you, it is a like collection we have to create with the component side. How to use ng4 directive? So ng4 is basically a structural directive first of all. And to use ng4 directive, we have to create a block of HTML element which displays single item of um, like item of items collection. That, so that is the way ng4 directive works. If we talk about the couple of the properties which ng4 has, that is the index, first, last, even, and odd. So index, like it gives the current index of the element while looping the code. First is basically it returns the true if the current element is the first element. Last, if return the true, if the last well, last element, like while looping, if the, it reach at the last and it is that last, it will return true, otherwise it will return false. Even if the return even element, that is return true, otherwise false. Or like if it return odd element, then it return true, otherwise false. We, we will see these properties as well with an example. So let's go to the Visual Studio code. And in the component side, first of all, let's create a collection. So collection I'm going to create as an student details. So in this student details, like I'm taking as an array type because we have to create the Collection. Now, next thing, what we have to define with this, like we have to define. So, in Angular 15, like we can't directly uh, put like this. We have to assign the value. So, I'm going to assign the empty array to this one. Now, next thing, what I'm going to do, like on the constructor level or uh, on the ng on in it, we have to define, like we have to assign the value. So, like the constructor. So this is the basically constructor and in the angular we need a constructor if we have to define any service like we have to create the object or the services and all these things for that we define the constructor. We will talk about more on the uh, lifecycle books of this angular in the coming video but as of now like we are going to initialize this student detail list in the constructor only because this is the first place where the App like application uh, comes like when we load this app component. So constructor like constructor comes in every component. So this is the first place uh, which execute. So here what I'm going to do this dot student details and here I'm going to define the value. So let's define it's just similar to like how we define a array. So name one I'm going to take and then I'm going to take the age. Like 21 and so similar to this one, what I will do, I will take a couple of the so let's define this is two and I'm taking as a two twenty four this is here, that's the comma here, and here I'm taking a three. And here I take here the four and twenty four. So this is the way like we have created now a uh, uh, like array array of the uh, like the student entity. So this is the uh, things we have defined here. Now what I'm going to do? Let's save this one. Here I'm going to create a one table. So for that one, let's create a one table. Now let's define the border of this table as well so we can see clearly. Here I am going to take a control 
and this one. So for NG4, what we do? In this PR only we have to define. So star NG4. So this is the keyword now. What we will take let, then we have to take the item of items or we can take any details. So for an example, I am taking the item. So this is the object is basically of print details. It should match with this name. So I'm going to copy it. This is the collection I'm going to take. Now we have to print the data. TD and inside this one using the interpolation, I'm going to take so item dot name. Similar to this one, age and gender. I'm going to print it. So here I'm going to take age and gender. If you want to format it, so select it. And let's save it and go to the browser. So if I will go to the browser, we can see all the details like name and uh, like age and the uh, like gender. We can see here. So this is the simple way like we create the uh, ng4, like how we use the ng4. So it's similar like ng4, the let item of student details, and we are taking and using the interpolation. We are printing the value. Now the next thing is like how we define the property uh, means the index first and last so all those things how we define it so for that one what we have so first semicolon here i'm going to take let i so this variable i'm taking and this is index so this keyword is fixed it means like this index first last even and odd these all are the as it is we have to use so here i'm using the index and now here what i'm going to do i'm going to Print it. So TD and inside this TD, what I'm going to take is I plus one. So the index of the array always starts from the zero. So like in the for loop, also like it starts from the zero. That's why I'm putting I plus one. So now if I will save it, I'll go on the browser. You will see one, two, three, four. So these are the four records. Now the next thing is after the index, let's uh, use this first. So for this one, again we have to put the semicolon and then let f then equal to and we have to use the first. Similar to this one, if we have to use the last, so let let l uh, equal to last. So now let's print all these two. So td and here I'm going to print as the variable name that is the f and similar to this one. Let's print the L. So let's put it L and now let's save it and see on the browser. So if I will go on the browser, you will see F means first. So this is the first value that's right true and it's not a last value. So here it is true, others are false. And similar, this all are false and last one is true because this is the last value. Now similar to this one, if we will Take another one that is the odd and even. So let go and here I'm going to take odd and similar to this one, let e and I'm going to define here as even. And now, similar to this one, let me print it. So here I'm going to print it as a o and here I'm going to print it as a e. Now let's save it and see on the Browser. On the browser, if I will run this one, so we can see like first we have taken for the odd. So let's see, it is for the odd and then even. We can see it is uh, like false, true, false, true, and just opposite true, false, true, false. So according to the odd and even, it is printing. So it is basically based on the data, like on which index of the data is coming, and so it is making even and odd. So this is the way. Uh, like ng4 works in the angular it's just simple like uh, first we have to put the star ng4 and then we have to define let item of the student detail if you want index first last number or an even then we have to put like this so this is the way we create ng4 in the angular if you are looking for the code you can go to the github link you can find that github link in the description section so uh, that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment Thank you.